Hey everyone and welcome back to Silverado Reef. Today we're going to reveal the Waterbox Reef 220.6 and the day it arrived. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! 220 gallons total volume. Uh, the display tank is 180 gallons. That's a little bit bigger. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hi, right, thanks for the aquarium. Now, as I start this walk around, I gotta say a big thumbs up to FedEx. They were absolutely great to work with and they were very informative on when the package was gonna be delivered. Now, as I walked around the tank, I noticed a couple labels on the tank, if, uh, you know, such as if the plastic is broken, please contact Waterbox. I noticed the order number on the side, a couple other labels just basically uh, sh for shipping purposes. Now Waterbox does ask you to report if the seal is, is broken at all. However, this seal didn't really go down the sides at all. I figured it was just one of the drivers just taking a look at what it was. Um, and you know, so that for that reason, I didn't actually report that. And I just continued doing my inspection around the crate. Um, Waterbox does ask you to do a pretty thorough check, and that's what I did. So I checked underneath the pallet to make sure that none of the feet were broken. Took the lid off. I removed the uh, the top of the lid, and sure as heck, there was another box. So after I got that, you know, I got the lid off and uh, removed the box that was inside. I was able to see the tank, and to my surprise, it was absolutely stunning. Um, I have to appreciate Waterbox and their craftsmanship. Uh, the hard work that they put into these tanks is definitely noticed. Um, I love the way that they packaged the tank uh, for shipping. They had those foam blocks that prevented anything from bouncing around. On the left hand side you see the sump and on the right hand side you see the plumbing. Um, the glass you know, I knew that it was going to be thick but wow it was absolutely shocking, stunning to me how thick and well made this tank was. I really have to appreciate the way the overflow was built. Um, I love the, you know, the dark glass. I do have a water box 20 cube that's already been set up. You've seen some other videos on that already maybe. If not, please check them out. All right, so I hired my local fish store to move the tank downstairs. It had to go down two flights of stairs, so I wanted to make sure that a professional was doing it who was insured rather than me and a bunch of friends risk moving it down, put a hole in the wall, crack the tank, uh, or get somebody injured. So I hired the local professional, which was my local fish store, to do that. I was absolutely nervous the whole time. I didn't have my hand in the pot at all. Ultimately, the stand went up just as it should. No problems whatsoever. All right, guys, it's been a couple days since we set this up. Finally got this down here. Uh, I got a couple things rearranged under the cabinet. I'll reveal that in a separate video, um, but we got it up. Um, some nice little surprises in there. I'll do an unboxing on those. Um, but yeah, so far, a couple things I noticed is the, the cabinets are actually a little warped, both right there and right there so i'm going to submit a claim to waterbox for that hopefully they take good care of me um got the nice overflow there got my uh ecotech uh, gyre 350 there actually bought two of those. I also have an MP60 that's going on this tank as well. And then a couple surprises down there which I can't wait to show you guys, but um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, give me a like and subscribe and uh, I'll continue po posting more content on this uh, Waterbox 220.6 as time goes on. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I hope you guys have a great day and Happy reefing.